So what's your name? Adam Shaffron, Flying Fox Fruits. I grow tropical fruit. All right, Adam, show me the, uh, which, what do you have here? I have here one of my favorite fruits that's relatively unknown right now, and it's called Pitanga Tuba, and I call it star cherry. Kind of looks like a little star fruit, mm -hmm. but it's like a cherry size. These are the plants right here, and um, it doesn't get big. I think it stays less than about 10 foot tall. Uh, these are about four years old, five years old, and they fruit real nice. For about half of the year or more, they seem to have fruit on them. Mm -hmm. we're, we're right now going into winter and just now getting some chill. And um, they're still making flowers and fruit, but the cold will shut them down here. And they can take about 32 degrees, even lower, like 27, 28, before they start to die and show real damage. How many of these plants do you have? I don't even know. I got tons of, you know, these are all little seedlings. I think I planted over a thousand. Oh, God. Yeah. And fruiting yeah. size, I've got about... 35 of them that are fruiting size. So you basically have c cornered the market on this in uh, Florida. <laughs> yeah, for now. <laughs> in yeah. probably the in, United States. In the United States for sure. Yeah. Yeah. This one's still, you know, still small. There's a couple of them there. But they get sizable. I mean, the size of maybe a racquetball or a large, large egg. All right. Um, different shapes and sizes. I've seen some that are, you know, long and slender. And mm -hmm. this one here actually. Is one of the longer, kind of more slender ones, but let's see. And you just have the the one variety. As as far as variation, I have like 35 fruiting trees, and there's a, quite a bit of variation. So mm -hmm. there's I've got tons of varieties, but none that are named really. You know what I mean? I gotcha. So I have a lot of variation here, though. Um, and some are better than others. Okay, so are you gonna try to like cultivate Graft, the yep. ones that are good? I think I will probably start to graft or propagate a better one. Oh, that's great. Yeah. That's exciting. You're you're creating a, a new fruit and discovering something new, right? Yeah. Just trying to popularize and create a new something. We need something new to eat, you know. There's it's apples, oranges, bananas. I'm I'm sick of that, you know, I want something new. Yeah, and they're so, delicious and people seem to like them, right? They definitely seem to like them. Yeah. It's you know, some people that, that don't appreciate some of the stronger tart flavors, I've had some people that don't appreciate it, but majority of people really kind of fall in love with the fruit, so. Mm -hmm. You know, when these get ripe, they turn like a nice orange color. Mm -hmm. You can eat them when they're yellowish green, but they, for them to have the best flavor, the f plant needs to be grown in full sun and the fruit needs to be in full sun and they get a nice deep orange color and mm. ugh, they have the best flavor. But um, some of them still will taste good at this phase. So why don't you uh, like to hear what you think of it? Why don't you pick it and uh, see what I think? See what it. you think about it. it. Fell off into my hand, so it was you know it was almost ripe. It, it's ripe enough to eat, but it could be riper. Yep. And you can pick them and actually let them sit in your house maybe for another day if you wanted to or two. But um, I'll let you know. It's got a big seed in the middle. Sometimes you can rattle it around and feel it. This one I can't. But they perish pretty quickly. They're very soft. It's like a water balloon or something. So I'll let you know what I think of it. It's succulent, tart, a little bit of sweetness. It's, it's awesome. I love them. <laughs> yeah, have you got, with all the ones you have, have you gotten sick of it yet? When it's in the peak of the season, a lot more fruit goes to waste, but yeah. I haven't got sick of it yet. I'm always finding myself eating. If they're here, I'll eat them. You know what I mean? Yeah. I haven't got sick of it, but when you got 500 fruit, you start letting them go to waste. Right. right but you can freeze them too, right? You can freeze them. I still have pulp frozen in my fridge. Yeah. yeah. Just take out the seeds, freeze the pulp, and you can just blend it up with uh, water or whatever, you know. It goes good with ice cream, like mm -hmm. vanilla ice cream. One, a, a little bit of fruit juice goes a long way. All right, so I'm going to give my review of uh, the Patanga tuba. That's it. Uh, we've got one that's like super squishy and ripe right here, and we also have one that's like a little bit uh, underripe, it seems. Or is it underripe? It's it's almost perfect. It could be a little riper, but it's it's almost it's, perfect. it's almost perfect. Okay, a little, little less ripe than, than this one. Mm -hmm. I'll try the, this one first. Damn, that's really good. Nice. I mean, they're like super juicy. You know, see all that juice in there? When you bite the outside skin, just like juice kind of just like pops in your mouth. Hmm. 
That one had two seeds in it. Nice. Yeah, that's good for you because you're going to grow <laughs> these after, uh, after I ate this. The texture is like very juicy, like a little stringy. Yeah. Kind like of like... Um, peach or something? Or? Kind of like a mango or a peach, but it's like more sour, like a little passion fruity. It's really good, really powerful. Be really good in like a juice or a, or a smoothie. Um, I'm going to try the... Uh, one that's like a little bit more ripe well, this one already it smells sweeter yeah they get sweeter mmm good yeah it's not nearly as sour uh -huh. but it still has a lot of flavor a lot sweeter maybe it's just me like looking at the shape of it but it reminds me a little bit like star fruit yeah too. yeah I call them a star cherry and it's definitely similar they're not related though. Not at all. Nope. No. It's got like a similar kind of like mellow flavor to it. Nothing quite like it though. That's that's delicious. I think um, if you have a chance, try this stuff out. Flyingfoxfruits.com. That's it. Look at it at the bottom of the screen right there. Go there if you want to buy uh, the plants to make your own. Do you sell the fruit as well? Uh, not yet, but we're working on it. Keep a <laughs> <laughs> seeds keep and a tab on it. Check in. Send them an email. Yeah. If you're in Selwood, Florida, come stop by Flying Fox Fruits and uh, try them out. I think you're going to love it. Cool. Thanks for watching. Thank you.